All right, so let's do this question. So for number one, it says determine the coordinates of each point. So let's look at point A. So A has a X and a Y coordinate. What is its X coordinate? Well, well done if you said it's one, because remember, X is this line over here, and Y is this line over here. Then the Y value of point A, well, that's equal to three. So A is one and three. If we look at B, its x value is minus 2, right? And its y value is 1. If we look at c, its x value is 0 because it hasn't moved left or right. And its y value is minus 2. Question 2 says, is triangle ABC a right angled triangle? Meaning, does it have a 90 degree? Now, what does 90 degrees make you think of? Anything that we've done in the previous section, or in the previous videos in this section? Well, remember, if two lines are 90 degrees, or if they're perpendicular, it means that they are 90 degrees. So then how do we work out if two lines are perpendicular? Well, remember, it's got something to do with their gradient. We said that if you multiply their gradients together, you should get an answer of? Well done, if you said minus one. So if you had to look at triangle ABC, where would, where does it appear that the right angle or the 90 degree angle could be? Well, obviously it's over here at B. It appears that these two lines are 90 degrees, but we're not 100% sure. We need to try to work that out. So what we could do is we could work out the gradient of line AB and the gradient of line BC, because those are the two lines that are meeting at point B. We could then see if their gradients give us minus 1 when you multiply them together. So let's look at the gradient of AB. So the way we show that is we say M, which stands for gradient, of AB is equal to, and then luckily we have a gradient formula. And so there we go. I'm going to use point A as point number 2, and I'm going to use point B as point number one. So the y value of point number two is three, right, because that's this one over here, minus the y value of point number one is that over there, over the x value of point number two, which is that one over there, and the x value of point number two is minus two. And if I go and work that out, I end up with a value of two over three. We can now look at the gradient of BC, and I'm going to use B as point number one again, and I'm going to use C as point number two. So the Y value of point number two is minus two, minus the Y value of point number one is one. The X value of point number two is zero, and the X value of point number one is minus two. And so that's going to give us minus three over two. So that is the gradient of BC. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the gradient of AB with the gradient of BC. And so that's going to be 2 over 3 times by minus 3 over 2. And what you would see if you do that on the calculator is that you're going to end up with minus 1. And so those two lines are perpendicular, which means that that angle is 90 degrees.